Hello, hello, welcome everyone. My name is Megan Newmans. I'm hosting this class with my dear friend Barbara. And we're talking all about essential oils, intimacy, sex in the bedroom, aphrodisiac. So with Valentine's coming up, this is the perfect theme for us to dive into. And, you know, we'll, we'll get lots of details. We'll get intimate in the class. This is meant to be also conversational. So if you have anything to ask or add, please open up. And this is what we're here for. So I've been using essential oils for the past five years and essential oils in terms of intimacy is an amazing opportunity to just really open yourself up, tap into your senses and be present in the moment. We'll, t we'll talk about how essential oils work in the body and our health as we go, but I just love to pass the mic to Barbara and she can introduce herself and share a little hello with us. Thank you, Megan. Hi, everybody. My name is Barbara, and I'm a health coach, and I focus on hormonal health, uh, specifically when it comes to your period, PMS, cramps, things like that, and um, balancing the hormones so that you can have a, a smooth period, bloat-free. Now, uh, one of the things also when you you know know about hormones is you start to understand libido. Okay, and so we're going to get into talking a little bit about that and how essential oils can support the systems and why and how that works. Okay, so Megan, if you want to scroll up. <laughs> All right, so first talking about the benefits of sex, total health benefits to sex. And this is how we're well rounded because our sexuality is a huge part of us. So it works to boost the immune system, it works on our heart health lowering blood pressure. It's a form of exercise, it's activity, it's movement, it's breath. For pain relief, you can release pain relieving hormones with orgasms, improve sleep, relaxation, inducing hormone prolactin um, released, and a big stress relief. Boost our libido. Once you are having that pleasure, your body craves it and wants more of it, mental and physical connection, both. So it's the oxytocin, the love hormone. I'm sure Barbie will tap into that. And it can improve bladder control in women. So strengthening the pelvic floor. One of our dear friends, Michelle Alva is a pelvic floor specialist. So if anyone is looking for that type of work, hands-on approach in Miami, we have your girl. And oh, we all know that sex increases intimacy. So that love hormone being released, and that does so much for our health. It's that feel good hormone. You can get oxytocin from your pet, your partner, a long hug, just being cared for. So we'll talk about essential oils, Barbara. So, and I wanted to touch base with like the, that's just like 10 benefits. There's so many benefits. We are sexual beings and we, that's how we, that's how we, you know, come about in the earth. So it's important that we have a healthy sexual um, life. Now, um, a lot of those were, you know, physical, emotional, right? Also energetically, sex has to do with our second chakra, okay? The area right below the belly button. You might be like, what? All right, I'm also a, a health coach, but I'm also a yoga teacher. So some, I'll talk to you sometimes as a health coach, hormone health coach, and other times as a yoga teacher, okay? So taking care of this area, taking care of the second chakra also takes care of, um, you know, part of our sex life. Okay, so why essential oils, okay? I'd like to talk to you a little bit before we get into the limbic system about the olfactory system, okay? The nose and the olfactory system and how aromatherapy works, okay? There's a reason why it's called aromatherapy because it is a form of therapy that supports us um, mentally and emotionally, energetically, um, but also physically. Okay, and so the olfactory nerve, I'm going to be just sharing a little bit from this book. We, there are so many books that we recommend. This specific one is The Modern Essentials. And I wanted to just show you a graphic. I'm a graphic person, so I just like to see, okay, 
the olfactory bulbs, it's right here. Here's your nose, you inhale, and then that connects to your limbic system, okay? The limbic system is the part of the brain that a lot of it is in charge of um, emotions and memory and certain uh, hormones that affect how you're feeling, can affect your libido, your, your energy, okay? Um, and so the way that it works is you breathe in, you take in these aromatic compounds from the essential oils, okay? They each have different chemical constituents that have an effect in the limbic system. Now, as you can see in, in the presentation here, the limbic system consists of your hypothalamus, your pituitary gland, your amygdala, and the hippocampus, okay? I'm gonna focus on the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland, okay? Because these are like your hormone conductor and your hormone orchestra, meaning that these little glands right there in the limbic system release chemicals, okay? These are your hormones. Hormones are part of the chemical system, okay? And they send messages to different parts of the body to do this and not do that and so on. Okay, and so when you inhale these aromatic compounds, these essential oils, you're using that to support the release of certain hormones in these parts of your, of your brain. It's incredible and oftentimes it's instant. It's an instant, like one time I had a friend that was going into like anxiety and anxiety attack. And the only thing I had in my bag was a little sample of rosemary. Okay. Now, rosemary is great for like concentration. And, you know, I was like, fuck it, let me just have him smell it. And I had it, I had him smell and he didn't have a panic attack. He started to calm down, breathing it in. And it was an instant thing. And the cool thing is that, yeah, there are certain oils that are specific for certain things. But sometimes just whatever oil you have, you use and somehow it works a lot of the times. <laughs> All right. I know I went off track. Coming back. It works in <laughs> that way. <laughs> All right. So let's move on to the next. What an incredible story. And that just goes to show like essential oils are so versatile. So rosemary that could be used for focus, also yeah. for food, it like really helps you in the moment. That's that plant medicine. Yeah, exactly. There's rosemary in our blend adaptive, who we're going to talk about a little later to support stress. There's rosemary in that because it helps with concentration and focus. All right. So why essential oils? Essential oils address the root cause. Okay. We're going right to the brain. Okay. And when used topically or internally, you're also working on, on, a, on a cellular level. Okay. It assists in hormonal balance. It boosts energy and positive feelings. Certain oils can help with raising the energy. Other oils can help with grounding the energy. Other oils emit or um, help you have certain arousal feelings, okay, which we're going to get into a little in a moment. Uh, they help to relieve aches and discomforts, okay, promotes healthy sleep patterns. We have our beloved lavender and a beautiful serenity blend that helps with sleep, which also can have an effect on your love life. It can have an effect on your energy, can have an effect on your libido, just how you feel overall. So it's not just one thing, ladies, it's everything. And when we're talking about holistic health, both Megan and I are certified holistic health coach, we're talking about everything. We just don't look at like the one thing, the symptom. We got to go to the root cause. And from there, all the different variations, it's mental. It can be emotional. It could be physical, right? The food, the things, the relationships. Okay. I'm going off on a tangent. Let's come back. <laughs> and cool. essential oils facilitate touch which of course we all want touch, right? You're putting on your oils, massage. We're gonna get into a little bit of like how you can do massage for your partner and all that. Okay, they affect the circulatory system. They increase blood flow. I think I said a lot of, of these things when applied to the skin, the chemical composition of the oils, they work quickly on the system, raising the body temperature. So once the body has reached an ideal temperature, the essential and euphoric properties of essential oils are most effective. So there are certain oil, hot oils. A lot of them are used in the like passion blends, like uh, cinnamon and cassia, all those raise the temperature and, you know, um, give you that kind of euphoric effect. 
And if you see a lot of, um, I don't know if you've ever done like a sex toy party, but those are super fun. <laughs> a lot of the products, which never buy them ever, ever buy them, <laughs> by the way, a lot of them have like synthetic cinnamon and cost and things like that to, you know, to help with that arousal part. Yes. We'll give you the doTERRA version of all of those. Yes. Do it. Spicy sauces come in later. So when we're talking about essential oils, especially using them in the bedroom, we want to make sure that they are pure and they are safe. So exactly the opposite of what you're going to see um, those parties that Barbara was talking about, any of the sex shops that you're walking into, just know that doTERRA has your back in so many different areas of your life. So be, what really sets doTERRA apart from any other essential oil company is that they're the most tested and most trusted essential oil company on the market. They're used by doctors and hospitals worldwide. So we're really adopting this plant medicine approach to wellness um, you know, within the medical system. So it's about weaving it together. We really love to teach on the preventative side of healthcare. Barbara and I, we like to teach about in our program, Integrate to Upgrade, self-care is the new healthcare. And it really is. And like, this is what we are. We're self-care advocates. How can you take care of all different areas of your life? We do so a lot with doTERRA. It becomes our household name. And the oils, they're ethically and sustainably sourced. So we have this system called co-impact sourcing. We source from 40 countries around the world. 23 of these countries are impoverished nations. So doTERRA has a really beautiful give back program. So when we work with individual farmers harvesting one type of oil, one type of crop, it's got, we look for the best in the world with the highest therapeutic properties. So we work with these individual farmers and we have a strict partnership and doTERRA does a lot of good in the community to go into the strict partnerships and make it fair. The farmers are having a fair wage year round. The employees are being taken care of doTERRA has created thousands of jobs around the world. So it's something that we really stand behind because most essential oils on the market are adultered, adulterated, being theirs, they're not pure. They have different additives, different synthetics. So that's what we want you to be aware of. If you're buying anything on the market for the bedroom, like what is in the ingredients, especially if you're putting it down there and it has such an effect on our whole entire body. So we will only advocate um, for talking about certified pure tested grade, very high therapeutic qualities and the oils um, work in all three ways that we'll get into the aromatic, the topical, the internal, and especially wanting it to be 100% pure when it comes to intimacy. So you can trust in doTERRA. And we're going to talk well, about, I want to say a little bit about a little something about that. Okay. Um, you know, when, when you, when I went through health coaching school and learned about toxicity, when I went through hormone school and learned about the effects of um, all these different products that we're putting in on and around our body have an effect on our hormones. Um, sometimes even more than food. <laughs> I mean, food is like, of course, top. But, you know, it's, and I started to like, wow, you know, all right. So I started researching, trying, you know, trying the next best um, brands, you know, and I wanted to align myself with like a, a brand that could have it all, <laughs> all the things. Right. And then I found, um, I knew about um, a few brands that I used to use before. Pangea Organics is great, um, Ava Anderson, but they um, switched names and switched everything and I stopped using them. And then I found uh, doTERRA and for essential oils. And then I learned that they have so many other products and I was like, amazing, you know, because I'm already, I'm teaching my clients how to create their own products, you know, with home, like vinegar, things like that. But a lot of them don't want to go through the trouble of making their own stuff. And they don't want to be using vinegar. They just want to buy from a trusted company. So then I would suggest, all right, you know, when you go to this market, try this, da, da, da. but now I can suggest one company. And on top of that, when they shop for their toothpaste, their uh, hand soap, shampoo, oil, whatever, right? Supplements, um, the greens, then, and, and that the powder, green powders to add to your juice. Um, then I can suggest one company and they can get free products and 
cultivate points to use that to pay for products. So it's like a company that has really high standards and gives you back every time you shop, right? And we'll get into that maybe a little later and maybe not this call, but pretty much it's like the loyalty rewards program that's better than any other rewards program you're in. <laughs> Thank you for that. So want to tell us a few of the bedroom favorites? All right, so sandalwood. I love sandalwood. I love, love, love sandalwood. Um, it's a more masculine scent. I tend to gravitate more towards the masculine scents, the more resins and the roots um, than the flowers. It balances testosterone levels in both men and women. It's considered an aphrodisiac. And you can also apply it to the sensitive areas before sex to enhance sensation, okay? You do have to dilute and we will give you some recipes for these later. Never anything internal, we're talking about around the sides. You can also use it to diffuse. Um, and the cool thing about doTERRA essential oils is that one oil can be used for many, many things, okay? So in a way for those who might say, oh my God, essential oils are expensive, I would say you want your essential oil to be expensive. You don't want to cheap out on this stuff. This is something you do not cheap out on. There's a lot that goes into this to make sure that you have a very pure product that you can use on your skin, you can inhale, and you can also take internal. Some of doTERRA essential oils can be taken internal, okay? And the way that we know is because they put a really nice supplement facts label on it so that you know that you can take internal. You can't really see here. But here's a cool little trick I'm going to give you, ladies. Sandalwood, it's a resin. So it gets thick. And to, sometimes you're like there waiting for that <laughs> drop to come out. And so here's what I do. I have a little, um, what do you call this? A dropper. I change the top for a dropper. And that way I can just, it's so much easier. Okay. Okay. Nice. Awesome. I just grabbed my sandalwood because it's like, you can't talk about this. And like, I have it just over in the other room. I'm like, I got to have it. I got to go grab it. <laughs> You're talking oh, about I love it. it. I want some. So it's also a very sacred oil. They use it a lot for like, they'll, they've used them in churches, right? It's used for meditation. It's used to um, like a more sacred spiritual purpose as well. Now, here's the thing, you guys. Um, also, this book, of course, we recommend certain books, but this one, Advanced Oil Magic, it's really, really cool. And when you go to each oil, it gives you this kind of like the same information for each oil, the chemical constituents, what it's mainly used for, and all that stuff. So the main properties is an antidepressant, antipysmotic, and calmative, and a tonic, okay? It helps to calm. Um, for example, how it says here balances testosterone. For low testosterone, it says here, you would take one to two drops in a capsule, so internal, or apply to pulse points and lower abdomen, okay? And so you would do that daily, one to two times a day, okay? And then it gives you other things and recipes, other uses, aphrodisiac for back pain, blemishes, calming, so much. We'll never finish if I continue. So let's go to the next one. <laughs> Megan's like, no, Barbara, you're talking too much. Clary Sage. You guys, Clary Sage is what got me into using doTERRA essential oils for about six years now. Okay. Why? Because a friend gave me a blend called Clary Calm. It's a roller for my period cramps. Okay. I used it that evening and I didn't have period cramps and I was a believer. I'm like, if this can take away my first day cramps, all right, I'm sold. And that was, there was clear sage in there. So my first, I bought a kit and then my first oil was the clear sage so that I had extra for it. And so it's a really beautiful oil. It's euphoric, it's deep. It's a sweet, nutty scent, promotes hormonal balance, especially estrogen. It lowers cortisol, which is the stress hormone and promotes relaxation. And it has sedative properties. It also, also has antidepressant properties, okay? I'd like to share a story that I, I've heard about Clary Sage. So, mm -hmm. you know, we can take our doTERRA oils aromatically, internally, or topically. And I usually tend to go more topical with my beauty, internal with my 
you know, my top oils I like to take internally and I, I do the diffuser, but I just feel like that direct application somehow just gets into your body even better. However, we do know the olfactory system and how the limbic system works with inhaling the essential oils. Our upline, um, her mother had, was going through menopause and she would be getting hot flashes. It would wake her up in the night and she started diffusing clary sage by her by itself in the diffuser when she went to bed and she bypassed her symptoms that took care of her issues just diffusing it while she sleeps one yeah. oil like i was just like wow brought me back to the power of aromatic use it's just as good as topical or internal and that's a beautiful thing you can use the oils how you like to that's right all right, let's hear this Lang Lang story. Oh, oh some people are calling these this oil ya bang ya bang. I hear that. That's what I've been hearing. You bang, you bang. Okay. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a really beautiful kind of I call it curly hair flower. I don't know that you can tell too much there. Can I love you? that. I love this flower so much. Yellow. So I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I was repulsed by ylang ylang. <laughs> okay, I couldn't smell it. I couldn't smell any blend that had ylang ylang. Then I went to my friend Amanda's house and she has a ylang ylang tree. Well, the neighbor next door. And I went and got a flower and it's a beautiful yellow flower and it smelled so good and so sweet. I just think the essential oil is so potent so potent, okay? That maybe if I just start just using a little bit, right? Just like that flower smelled so good. So Ylang Ylang is like one of those main aphrodisiac oils, okay? Kind of gets you in the mood. Calming, relieves anxious feelings, which of course gets to help you get in the mood, right? Fosters feelings of love, safety, and security. And when you combine it with sandalwood, you get even better results. Oh, that sounds nice. Ylang Ylang and sandalwood. Now yes. it's used for hormonal balance. You would apply one to two drops to your wrist and behind your ears. It's used for low libido. If you have low libido, then you apply one to two drops to your pulse points and reproductive flex points. Okay. You diffuse four to eight drops during intimacy or use in massage. So the pulse points on the feet are right on the ankle, the side of the ankles. Okay. Especially the right one and over the ankle. Okay. High blood pressure, infertility, heart palpitations, and oily skin. Like I said, one oil for many things. Am I talking about this one? Applicable to men too? Yes, both men and women. Mm -hmm. And the men will do really well with a sandalwood. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jasmine, for you. Uh, you can go one more for Jasmine if you want or stay in that one. Okay, so I love Jasmine. We'll go one more. Um, I love Jasmine. I didn't give it enough of a love because I love it. It's so <laughs> good. I just love it. I can't say that enough. It's it's just very opening. It's very sweet. It just makes me so happy. It's very calming. Also an aphrodisiac oil, stress relief, brings that euphoria, that elation. I remember I was, after Jasmine came out at convention, because we didn't always have Jasmine available. It's available in the touch roller. Um, I had uh, went on a trip to Hawaii and I was hiking in the jungle and I found a Jasmine flower. And I wasn't like, uh, familiar with jasmine flowers and what they look like prior but like I picked the flower I'm smelling I'm like oh my gosh this smells like jasmine and then I went back to the car after the hike and I brought the flowers with me I smelled the jasmine roll I'm like this is it and I was just so attracted to it in nature as well so your story with your little lang lang flower and jasmine um, just speaks to me so on the emotional side it's the oil of sexual purity and balance so this is a really great oil for anyone healing through any sexual trauma or sexual abuse. Um, it brings feelings of safety um, uh, and really cultivates a positive experience within your intimate relationships. It helps you purify your unhealthy sexual intentions and motivations. And it's an oil to help you learn how to respect yourself and others. 
So this is also a really great oil to blend with. I would blend it with Hawaiian sandalwood and ylang ylang and clary sage, those oils together. So good. Type in the chat if you've experienced doTERRA jasmine because I can't get it off. <laughs> All right. I lost track if I'm doing these slides or you. Yeah, you are. Okay, okay. Neroli. So Neroli is another beautiful oil. I actually have it here. And yeah. this one, if you scroll one, it has just like the other two. Okay. All right, cool. That one. Mm -hmm. So this is the oil from the blossoms of the bitter orange tree. And back in Egypt, these flowers were used to adorn newlyweds bed because of the aphrodisiac quality. So it's meant to increase sexual desire. And by just breathing it in, you can help to relieve menopause symptoms and reduce blood pressure. So that's pretty incredible, just that aromatic. It's really helpful when libido is low due to hormones or stress. We're going to talk about stress later, but with the emotional side, it is the oil of shared purpose and partnership. And you know what? I don't remember what I read about this or just popped into my mind. My Okay, Barbara and I run a, a coaching program, a mentorship, uh, where we focus on all areas of our life, focus on that health coaching aspect. And one area is relationships. This really fuels us in our life. And it's, a, it's a, one of our primary foods. And my husband and I last year booked an Airbnb in California and went away. And we did our little couples retreat in this awesome space. And I learned about Neroli being the oil of shared purpose and partnership. So we use that oil a lot that weekend with that intention that we we're coming together. So it's very unifying and stabilizing oil and the ongoing partnerships require acceptance and growth. So over time that can be weakened and you can really bring this oil to come back to each other. So I love this oil like, and it's, it's really fun to layer all these oils as well. And or even work, just work with them individually and see how you react, how your partner reacts. And everyone will start to have these sense that they become attracted to or that you can use to attract your partner as well. And then we have the queen, rose oil. I think every woman should have rose and use it on the daily. So rose is the highest vibration plant out there. And thinking of the energetics of these plants, flowers are just very opening in nature. So when we want to carry on that energy to open ourselves emotionally, physically, grab your floral oils. I love to use rose every day on my heart in a circle. I just create that like ongoing it starts with self-love. I use it in my skincare. It's really great for wounds and it's a calming and relaxing oil. So it helps you worry, um, ease any worries that you may have about sex and it helps to stimulate sexual desire. It's the oil of divine love and it teaches the essential need for divine grace and intervention in the healing process. So essential oils are so um, emotionally healing, you know, working on this intuitive side of us and we're drawn to these oils. And I had a great experience with one of our um, uh, wellness advocates on our doTERRA team. So I have, you have the rose oil. I have it at my desk, the pure oil. It's $275, which is a very expensive oil. It takes like, I can't even remember the, the amount of uh, floral petals it makes to the rose. But we have it in its pure form, which I always dilute. I make my own rollers with it, or you can get it in a roller like this for $70. So a little bit difference there, but I had left my rose with these new advocates who were wanting to make some, some content of how to um, retrain your brain for smell training. And so he would use every morning, he'd wake up and he'd smell rose from the bottle every single morning that 
I had left this oil with them and he had tendencies to be a little more on the depressed side. And he was feeling that way because with the, you know, what happened with the pandemic last year and just, they had to give up what they were working on. And he had this sense of like, you know, he wasn't feeling his best. And he started smelling that oil every single day. And he noticed such a shift on the emotional level and how he felt about himself cultivating that self-love and just bringing himself like out of his depressed state that he was feeling. And it was really beautiful to hear coming from a man, you know, he's obviously open to the essential oils. His wife got him into it, but to have him have that experience, that was his aha moment with the oils and really feeling the healing side of it. All right. <clears throat> Melissa loves Rose too. Yes, it is such a special oil. And guess what? So speaking of doTERRA's um, harvesting practices, Rose is sourced in Bulgaria and there is on the farm to source the oils and collect the petals they do horse-drawn carriages because they don't want any of the emissions or the exhaust from any like vehicles ruining the flowers. So it's like, so cool, you know, it's such, such taken care of and really treated with that divine energy. Wow, that's you know? amazing. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's amazing, no wonder, no wonder it's too. <laughs> Is the most expensive oil. Well, yeah. quality. When you're when you're working with that vibration, right? Like you say, it is the highest vibration. You want to sustain that as much as you can. What a beautiful way to do that. For the queen, we got to do a horse-drawn carriages. Okay, she deserves it. That's right. <laughs> All right. The passion blend. Has anyone tried this? This is the inspiring blend. It's a very spicy, um, it has cinnamon, caramel. Spicy and hot, right? Yes. Spicy, the cinnamon, the car cinnamon is, well, I mean, there's all, all spicy and hot as well. Cardamom, sandalwood, jasmine, we talked about those. Ginger is a hot oil, clove is a hot oil, and vanilla. And it's the, now we've been talking about single oils, and this is a particular blend that doTERRA created specifically for this. I mean, it's called passion. So to inspire this, you know, passionate feelings and you can use this, um, it's available in the roller and you can use it and also in the five milliliter bottle, correct? Mm -hmm. yep. And you can use it in your pulse points and the ears you can use it in the reflexology point on the ankle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, we're using these oils as our perfume. Like, I like we like to call it pure fume because it's pure essential oils. Mm -hmm. So this is, okay, friends don't let friends wear perfume anymore. So mm -hmm. if you have any women in your life who are wearing perfume, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Gift them an essential oil, gift her a roller. And that is just going to change everything, you know? Yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, my thing, here's my thing with, with perfume is that a lot of it is synthetic but they have you know how you have the perfume you can have it on all day it stays on your clothes like your clothes starts to to smell like that it doesn't go away okay just like in shampoo they have plas plasticides in it so that the odor can stay in whatever it touches longer okay and it even starts to change your own personal smell so one of my pet peeves is hugging someone who put a lot of perfume and then my hair, my shirt, everything. I smell like that person for the rest of the day. I can't. Okay. I haven't, I, that doesn't happen with essential oils. Now essential oils are not going to stay on you all day. No, you're going to be applying throughout the day. But like we say, they have side benefits. They don't have side effects. They have side benefits. And so as you're applying these oils, yes, you're going to smell good and that, but also whatever, right, therapeutic effect it has on you as you're putting it on your skin or as you're smelling it. And you know what? You may think that it doesn't last on you all day, Barb, because you're around yourself and you kind of get used to the smell, but listen to this. 
when I first started with doTERRA, I was working full time and on Mondays were my busiest days. I'd leave the house in the morning. Um, I've used my oils in the morning and then in the evening I'd have my acro class. And I remember I taught yoga and then acro and then people who come to my acro class gave me a hug. And they're like, wow, you smell so good. And I'm like, really? Because I used oils in the morning. And, and I've taught 20 classes already. <laughs> yeah. And I think that you start to exude this because I use oils internally. I use the shampoo. I use the thing, you know, so people smelled it on me still. And, you know, we get a lot of compliments as an oil fairy, how good we smell. And like, people are attracted to that. So thinking about sensuality, using these oils, attract the partner that you want, attract your love. Um, they will notice, they will notice, and you will notice when they're wearing the oils as well. So the Amavi is one of the men's blend. It's very woodsy oil. Jen, our upline was raving about Amavi last night. This one really just like gets her going when her husband wears this. And it's made of Buddha wood, balsam fir, black pepper, hanoki, patchouli, and cocoa extract. It's a very manly scent. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when we are in our feminine energy, we're attracted to that, to the opposite. So the men can really start to use this as their pure cologne as well. And let's just read some of these testimonials. My husband loves it just for the smell. I've actually used it in my diffuser for a manly smell in the house. I also make sugar scrubs and added it for a few men. My dad loves the soap bar. So this is actually out for sale a few times a year. And we have some in our, Rob uses it on his cologne too. He prefers, well, he uses Whisper mainly because he knows I prefer that, but I'll, he also uses a Mavi. And then this is just like Whisper. It works synergistically with each individual's chemistry to create that personal aromatic experience, which I think is so cool. All right, I'm gonna pass the mic. Have you seen uh, my libido? Excuse me, where's my libido? All right, so what does that mean? Do we all, do we know what libido is? It's your, your sexual rise or your, your feeling um, sexually aroused, sexual or rise. as we say in the streets, horny. <laughs> so there is different things that affect your libido, okay? One of them is poor health. Diet and exercise have a direct effect, okay? And it goes both ways. Okay, with exercise, whether like not doing any at all, not enough, or doing too much, sometimes overdoing it with exercise has an effect as well, a negative effect. Okay, so don't think that you have to be like, you know, killing yourself with exercise, just moderate exercise, specifically exercise you love. Okay, the foods that you're eating. Actually, there are certain foods that you can eat that are aphrodisiac that can actually support and enhance your libido. Okay. What are the top aphrodisiac foods? Chocolate. Chocolate, figs, uh, dates are aphrodisiacs, mm. oysters and um, kind of like seafood, but mainly oysters. Oh yeah. Um, certain nuts. I have a whole book called um, Intercourses and it's all Aphrodisiac oh my gosh, that is awesome. <laughs> Intercour intercourses, like course, meal courses, you know, yes. intercourses, and it's all aphrodisiac, everything from dessert to starters to drinks. It's great. Intercourses. Okay. Stress, ladies, has a huge, huge, huge effect. Where does stress begin? Where's stress? Let's type it in the chat. Where does stress start? Take a guess. Where it, does stress originate? It's <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> work. <laughs> oh, you're cracking me up. Okay, in the mind, you guys, stress it's perceived. It's a, the, a stress can also, of course, stress from physical stress, from an accident, from you know, this that kind of stress, but also. The perceived stress started in the mind, okay, in, in right here. Which 
that which is part of the brain, okay? We talked earlier about the, the hippocampus, right? The hypothalamus, all these different glands that send out signals to the body. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the HPA axis in, in, a, in a moment, but the, that will have a direct effect on the adrenals, which then has an effect on your sex hormones, it's connected to the ovaries as well. So the stress is a big, big, big um, cause of low libido, okay? Medication, side effects like antidepressants, um, any type of hormonal imbalance, okay? So if you're having PMS, uh, different things, you know, if you're going through perimenopause, menopause, all that. Lack of self-confidence, okay? If you're not feeling confident, self-esteem, um, fatigue, and of course, a menorectal dysfunction. Okay, poor health, diet, and exercise. So our bodies cannot function optimally without the foundation of health. So when you feel good, you're much more likely to be excited about sexual activity, okay? So we talked about food. We also, um, now, right now we're gonna share in doTERRA, can support in this area with supplementation, okay? So remember, great diet with the foods that you're eating, the amounts that you're eating, the times that you're eating, all that, but also you can enhance with supplementation. And doTERRA has a great line of, it's called the LLV, which has your multivitamin, it has your omega-3s, which it's for brain function, and it also has your, antioc your an antioxidant blend. Okay. And then of course, exercise, you got to choose physical activity that increases your blood flow and boosts endorphins. So ladies get on those, get on those dance classes, get on those, you know, um, just get to, to running, get to moving fast. Okay. Anything that lifts your mood and stress. So adaptive is our go-to blend and system so we have the oil it's great to put in the diffuser great to wear in your body in the roller and the oils are great for like in the moment stress when you feel it and you need to take care of it number one is coming back to your breath and using aromatherapy couple it together you're able to have this little zen time out the capsules are really great for this sustained kind of take the edge off so if you know that you're having a more of a busy stress day you can take a capsule in the morning it's also really good for focus and it's also great for helping sleeping at night. So you can do a little adaptive with serenity or adaptive in copaiba, a little nightcap. And it's, you know, with stress, it really does wreak havoc on all areas of your health, including your libido. So it disrupts our, our hormone levels. And we just learned how important our hormones are. And when, our, when we're stressed, our arteries narrow, which restricts the blood flow and diminishes pleasure and potentially causes erectile dysfunction. So if your man is stressed, get him on the adaptive system, get him using the oil, get him taking the capsules um, yourself as well. So to calm ourselves, we can use some of our favorite oils like lavender, frankincense is the king, bergamot is an aphrodisiac oil. Ylang Lang, like we talked about. Roman chamomile is very relaxing. Vetiver is a really great grounding oil. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, I love the smell of vetiver. I feel like so many of the girls and women on our team are like in love with vetiver too. It's a sedative and it's also really great in the book. It talks about being able to support our breast health. So you can massage your breasts with vetiver and that's another very thick oil too. It's very like resiny. And it's, a, it's a root okay the the, the vetiver is just a, a root okay and it looks like nerves okay growing deep into the earth so it's very grounding and it's very grounding in the nervous system yes and peace is a great blend balance and serenity so so many essential oils and because the essential oils do you know a lot of oils work on stress it's like if you try one and that didn't do the trick for you, you can try another one. You can try a different combo. So before you medicate yourself, you should meditate yourself. Mm -hmm. So 
the side effects of medication uh, with doTERRA, like we have a lot of natural versions of these over the counter or over the counter things that you're taking for whatever you're dealing with. So um, with antidepressants and birth control pills and pro proscar, um, antihistamines, opioids, beta blockers for blood pressure medication, these all affect our system. You've seen the commercials where they say, this may benefit this, but you may have X, Y, Z and potential death from taking this. And you're just like, okay, it sounds way worse than actually just me dealing with my thing. So I'm gonna go more of the natural route. Of course, you wanna be informed. Um, some medications are unavoidable. We're not medical doctors and telling you need to throw everything out, but work with your MD to find a plan that meets your needs. So what we do as wellness advocates, I feel like it's, it's such a synergistic to any type of um, medicine or medical route that you're taking because often the doctor doesn't have time to guide you or even know about lifestyle, diet and lifestyle and like natural ways to reduce your stress. But that's where we come around with as wellness advocates. So we can help guide you with really looking at what you're experiencing and then what are some essential oils that can remedy that in a natural way. So gosh, we could talk all night. Um, let's you know, talk about, yeah, we don't have time. <laughs> yeah, we've got, we're, we want to be mindful of your time. So we're going to wrap it up. We got about 10 minutes left, but we want to talk a little bit about hormones, a little more about the hormones. Pretty much. If you would rather mop your floor, then there is a serious problem, a hormonal imbalance, which may be causing you to not want sex. And we can get a lot deeper into that, ladies, but really, we're just really running out of time. Uh, but know that it's not just one thing. There's not like, oh, this oil and it's going to fix it, or this pill is going to fix it. Okay. There's a lot more. This is more of like, become aware of, you know, obviously we got to also talk about like intimacy with your partner. You know, do you guys eye gaze? Do you guys have clear and honest communication, right? Do you trust each other? Do you respect each other? Of course, do you love each other? Okay. Um, do you feel supported by each other? All that has an effect on how, you know, you feel, um, the, the hormones, right, that you're releasing every time we have a thought, okay, there's a, a, a chemical reaction that happens that is released, and then we have an emotion, okay, we have an emotion, we have feel certain ways, um, oh, Jessica just got here, hold on, Jess, <laughs> um, I'm on a roll, um, and then that ultimately has an effect on you physically, okay, Jess, uh, Megan, can you continue, I'm going to get the door for Jess. Oh, sorry. It's not Jessica. It's my husband. <laughs> I'm like, how does she get a key? <laughs> Balance. Supplementation is going to really set you for the foundation. So we have our lifelong vitality, but in addition to that, highly recommend trying out the women's supplement line. So we have the bone nutrient and the phytoestrogen. I started taking these supplements um, probably the past couple of years. And I noticed a lot of benefits. I used to have like breakouts on under my chin before my um, moon cycle. And after starting with the phytoestrogen and using the Clary Calm every single day on the inner ankles, I was able to clear myself of those symptoms. So that was incredible because our bodies run a four week system, the infradian rhythm. Our body's needs are different at every cycle. So we need to support our hormones for what we need. And the Clary Calm is like, it's gonna cover the bases. So you can put that on the inner ankles every day or in the belly button. And then also drink grapefruit in your water. It's very um, good for balancing our hormones. And the guys apply sandalwood, clary sage, lang lang to the lower abdomen and take the LLV, Mito2 Max, which is energy and stamina and DDR Prime, which is DNA damage repair. I don't think that oil gets enough recognition every time that it's talked about or featured in any presentation. I want to talk it up. Um, this oil blend is incredible. It comes in a blend or also a pre-made supplement. All right. So a hormonal imbalance, essential oils do magic and stimulate the pituitary gland, which is the master endocrine gland, which controls hormone production. So Inactiveness of the pituitary gland can lead to low sex drive. So the oils help keep it in an active state. So it's really about 
when you're using these oils on the daily, you're going to start seeing the difference in your body. And it's not just, you know, using them anecdotal for whatever's happening. Yes, you want to do that. The more you routine, you get into it, the more it's going to affect your body as a whole. And, you know, when we're feeling tired and we're fatigued, we're not in the mood to get it on. So let's support ourselves. We always talk about the root cause of anything going on. We want to tackle the root cause. So if you're too tired to, you know, be paying attention to your sex life, it's like, well, why are you too tired? You're not sleeping enough. So let's work on your sleep to have a ripple effect in your energy and feel good about yourself. And we'll translate to the bedroom. So we have our serenity soft gels. I like to take two before bed, use serenity oil in the diffuser, put a couple drops on your pillow. Gosh, that's a beautiful blend too. You can use that in massage. You can use that on your partner. Um, Copaiba is our, our CBD. It works on our same CB1 and CB2 receptors in the body. So that will help relax you and that will translate into other areas. So I think this is a good time for its screenshots. I was going to say if you're on your phone or if you're on your laptop, grab your phone and take a picture of this because these are um, recipes. <clears throat> Snap that picture. Giddy up. I like the name. <laughs> yeah. Circulation wow. support, wow. prostate relief, hormone balance. Take 10 drops of Slim and Sassy internally before sex. That's a spicy oil. It's going to get you hot mm. and ready. Like that was what Jim was it's talking sassy. about. <laughs> um, the firing, stoking the fire with these hot oils, right? Okay, another screenshot. So for the women, breast enhancer, breast detox, the hot mess blend, the hormonal balance blend. I also want to uh, recommend this book, ladies. It's called The Essential Oils Hormone Solution by Dr. Marisa Snyder. She is also a doTERRA wellness advocate. So when she's talking about the essential oils in this book, she is talking about doTERRA essential oils. She has an amazing podcast, talks about functional women's health and essential oils. It's called Essentially You Podcast. I recommend it to all of my customers. I recommend this book so that she gives you all, all the recipes, essential oils to use internal, aromatically, or topically for any hormone issue you may have. All right. So next time um, you pull out the oils, use these anchoring oils. Jessica just said that she wants to create a blend and let her partner know this is going to be the signal that you have the green light, that we can be intimate. So talk to your partner, see what turns them on and use those, those fun signals with your oils to tap into your senses. Another opportunity to take a screenshot, diffuser blends, these work. Had an experience one night. I diffused some oils out of the ordinary of my lavender and copaiba and serenity. They all happened to be aphrodisiac oils. And I was woken up in the middle of the night by my husband with a pleasant surprise. And I was like, after we finished, and I was like, oh my gosh, the oils, the oils pulled this out of us in the middle of our sleep. So try it out. <laughs> I wasn't even intending to, but then after I realized, holy shit, those are the aphrodisiac oils. This stuff works. Okay. And then we do have to talk about this before we end the spicy sauce. You can make your own personal lubricants. Um, you can do massage um, with your fractionated coconut oil. Body warmer, the spicy sauce with your own lubricant is ginger, peppermint, cinnamon. Let's take a screenshot of this as well. The body mist by doTERRA is really great. And then you can add whatever essential oils. So if you have any um, questions, type it in the chat. Also, I'd love to know if anyone is new. I know we have a lot of our um, customers and our advocates on this call. If you're new, please type in the chat. We're going to tell you how 
to get started with doTERRA if you're ready to bring these oils to enhance your sensuality, your sexuality, just take care of your health in general. We have an awesome promotion this month. So this promotion is available to current customers, wellness advocates, and new customers as well. So how doTERRA works is that we are a wholesale membership. So you have access to 25% discount on all the products, all the oils, all the supplements when you become a wholesale member. You can go home a wholesale member two ways, paying a $35 membership fee and then choosing whatever oils a la carte. For this class specifically, if you're going the aphrodisiac route, that might be for you and you pick all your favorite oils. If you really see the value of doTERRA as a lifestyle, uh, high, and you feel like this is the way that you want to start living your life, non-toxic lifestyle, taking care of yourself with the oils as your medicine, your personal care products, I highly recommend getting one of our starter kits, which is the top oils that every home should need, taking care of about 80% of your household daily needs. So I'm not sure if we have starter kit is available in here, but I'll just tell you the kits have a dollar amount and a point value. So when you're looking at it, look at the point value because this is what our promotion is based off of this month. When you spend 200 PV on any order, customer, new customer, advocate, you'll get four free oils, grapefruit, wild orange, tangerine, and clementine. And clementine is not even sold on doTERRA. So this is like a once in a chance, once in a lifetime chance of getting clementine. And we have another extra promotion within our team. We have a couple members doing a program through doTERRA called the Diamond Club. And we're able to offer a few more free oils. For anyone that spends 100 PV, you get a free Citrus Bliss. And if you're spending 300 PV, Diamond Club oils is Citrus Bliss Adaptive, plus you'll be qualified for all four oils. We are before the 15th of the month. So if you're a current customer, on your monthly wellness box, your loyalty order, if you spend 125 points, you get a free lemon eucalyptus. So that's a perk of becoming a member. You get access to free oils, the discounts, and um, yeah, we have intimacy as a gift that if we prioritize each other, you will thrive. So we know we are speaking for an hour. We wanna respect your time. I hope you enjoyed this information, the specialty information. Hope you're inspired to try these oils out um, for Valentine's Day. Set some time aside. Arouse your senses first. Get into the mood. And if you are new and you want to talk about options to get started, please reach out to whoever invited you here, whoever's your wellness advocate, because that's the person who will be also guiding your journey and supporting you. We have an awesome community. So you're not just getting oils from the grocery store and not knowing how to use them. You actually get guidance and support and essentially a health coaching, you know, service. So Barbara, would you like to add anything else? Uh, no, I think we covered a lot. I mean, there's so much more we can talk about. I think we need to schedule round two, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And thank you so much for inviting me to uh, teach this class with you. I love talking about the subject and I love sharing about essential oils. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to all of you who've been here listening, sharing, asking questions. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you for sharing your knowledge on all things, the hormones. I know you work a lot with one-on-one -on -one clients. So if anyone's struggling, Barbara can definitely guide you with the That's holistic right. approach. So I work, I love working with women who are having um, a tough uh, period in the sense of pain, bloating, moodiness. And I support you with food, uh, supplementation, exercise, and lifestyle activities to plan in your month, okay? So I teach you about your hormones, your glands, how they're working, and how the food and lifestyle are affecting. I also suggest oils to support with that. And um, I also bring in the element of the energy body. And so we'll be talking about chakras and we kind of tap into that as well. I work one-on-one -on -one and pretty much we sit, sit like this in a Zoom call. We talk for an hour and I give you kind of homework, things to do to start to um, bring about in your life so that you can start to find balance and ease in your periods. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great evening. Thank you, lady.